Hi, I'm Mike with Turner Motorsport, and today we're going to talk to you about roll center and why you need to correct it on your lowered vehicle. Roll center is the point at which the cornering forces in the suspension are reacted to the vehicle body, which is this green point here. To find it, you have to figure out a couple different things. Your instant center, which is the intersection of these red dots, which is the inter a line drawn from your outer ball joint location to your inner control arm pivot location out towards the other tire, and then a perpendicular line from your lower ball joint location to the upper strut pivot location. So those lines intersect out here at this red dot, and that's your instant center. Then you draw a line from your center of your tire contact patch here to that instant center. Where it intersects, this vertical line at the center of mass of the vehicle is your roll center. That distance between the center of gravity and your roll center is the moment arm that the mass of the vehicle has to affect the handling characteristics of the vehicle. So that's all great on a stock car, but when you lower it, you drop the center of mass, which is great, but the control arms invert and your instant center drops below ground level, which also drops your roll center in this case below ground level. So this moment arm has gotten a lot longer. So the same amount of mass has more of an effect over the handling characteristics of the vehicle. To correct that, we lower the outer ball joint location here with our roll center correction kit. This raises the roll center and maintains your lowered center of mass from lowering the vehicle initially. So you get the restored handling, much like stock, but with your center of mass that's much lower with the lowered vehicle. This is our Turner Motorsport roll center correction kit. It includes this large billet piece here, and that's what spaces down the outer ball joint location as well as the outer tie rod location. You can see the outer tie rod location is moved inboard quite a bit, and that's what provides the faster steering. We also include this spherical bearing adapter to convert the ball joint to this spherical bearing that allows the use of this stud. Um, as you change caster, bump steer becomes more of a factor with these cars, so we do include spacers for the outer tie rod location to correct this. This is our race kit, uh, which uses a limiter on the steering rack to limit travel so you're not rubbing tires. Also, it uses the shorter of these tie rod adapters here. For our drift kit, you need a longer control arm and the longer adapter, and it does not use the spacer or limiter on the rack. We also have this Ackerman adjustment here, which is mostly beneficial to drifting. You do want to play with that to try to minimize the scrub of the tires while at lock. Make sure to check out turnermotorsport.com and the product description for our roll center kits. We do have a little link with install instructions and tips on how to adjust all the different aspects of our kits.